Welcome to PW Portfolio Analytics. For the second part of our retirement planning series, we will be discussing the impact of investment and longevity risks. In Retirement Planning 101, we looked at Sarah's situation and we saw that her resulting nest egg would not be enough to sustain her lifestyle post-retirement. So how much would Sarah have to save for her retirement? From our Smart Risk Analytics, the number is approximately $1 million, which is $200,000 more than what she had planned to save. Recall that Sarah was setting her savings aside in a risk-free asset that yields 4.04% per year. If she wants to maintain her target spending level in retirement, she will need to consider taking on some investment risk in order to achieve a higher level of expected return. This can be done by investing in a more aggressive portfolio, which is a portfolio with a higher percentage of stocks. So what is investment risk? The distribution of potential investment returns have a standard deviation, which is a statistical concept that is commonly used to measure investment risk. While the expected return is the most likely outcome, the actual return in a given month, year, or any period of time could be anywhere within this range. As was explained in the second video of our Risk and Return series, it is important to note that the standard deviation captures both the downside and upside risk of an investment. This means that your investment can yield both less or more than the expected return. As a result, you can see that you would need to save more after a few bad draws of returns, or save less after a few good draws. But since the future is uncertain, saving more would give you a greater probability of hitting your target nest egg. We provide a numerical example to illustrate this point in an appendix that accompanies this video on our website. Now, what is longevity risk? Let's add another source of uncertainty to our retirement planning problem. How long does your nest egg need to last? In the previous video, we assumed for simplicity's sake that Sarah's longevity was fixed post-retirement. But just like investments, longevity is also uncertain. While on average, Sarah is expected to live for another 22 years after she retires, her actual horizon could be shorter or longer than 22 years. For example, according to Statistics Canada, the average 65-year-old female has a 0.04% chance of living to age 110 and these probabilities will vary with age. So rather than taking longevity as given in retirement planning, it should be viewed as risk. On the other hand, you may find that saving so much more for a 0.04% chance is very inefficient, so it's up to you how much longevity risk you would like to take in planning your retirement. At PWPA, we take both investment and longevity risks into consideration when we help you plan for retirement using portfolios that suit your risk profile.